Hi, fifth graders. Today's lessons or topics are going to be um, converting fractions to decimals, multiplying decimals, factors, and rounding. And let's get started with um, converting fractions to decimals. Uh, the easiest way to turn fractions into decimals is by turning the denominator to 100. And that's what we're going to do. But you can always do um, use the safest way, which is just um, dividing um, the denominator into the numerator. And that will still give you the same decimal. We're going to start off with number 1. Number 1 gave us 1 half. I'm going to turn it into a decimal, and the only way we know how to is by turning the denominator into 100, right? And when we divide 2 into 100, we know that 50 times 2 equals 100, so we're going to multiply 2 by 50. And if we multiply the denominator by 50, we also have to multiply the numerator by 50, or the same amount. And 50 times 1 is just 50. And once it's over 100, we're going to turn it into a decimal because, as you know, the hundredths place is just one decimal place. So we're going to put 0 0.5. And if you want, you could just add a 0 just for a special touch. But you don't have to because 0 0.5 and 0 0.50 is the same thing. Now let's go on to number 5. Number 5 gave us 4 over 10. Once again, we have to multiply by something to equal 100 on the bottom. And we know that 10 times 10 equals 100, so we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. And since 10 times 10 already equals 100, we're going to do just the numerator, which is 4 times 10, which equals 40. Once again, it's going to be to the one decimal place, so it's going to be 0 0.40. Or, I'm sorry, not the one decimal points. So, um, since it's order over 100, we see that it has two zeros, so it's going to have two decimal places, which is 1, 2, 1, 2, as you can see here. But 0 0.50 and 0 0.40 is just the same thing as 0 0.5 and 0 0.4. It's just that the zero is going to be, like, invisible. Now we're going to do multiplying decimals. This is pretty much review from the other weeks. And we're going to number 8 together. Number 8 gave us 0 0.2 times 0 0.07. And once again, I'm going to put the number with the most decimal places on top, which is 0 0.07. And for now, um, I'm going to ignore the decimal place, place points, and I'm just going to multiply regularly. And we know that 7 times 2 equals 14. We're going to bring up the 1. 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 2 times 0 is 0, and then I bring down the placeholder right here, and then 0 times anything equals 0, so I'm going to put 3 zeros. Now I just add, right, so I'm going to have 0, 0, 1, 4, and right now our, our decimal place po point is right here, to the right or behind 4, and we're going to look back up to the factors and we see that 0 0.2 has one decimal point right here right and we get, and then 0 0.07 has two decimal points and when we add them we get a total of three decimal points so our product is also gonna so our product is gonna have three decimal points so we're gonna move this decimal point to the left three times so one two three and our decimal point goes between the zeros in a cleaner version it will be zero point zero one four and an easy way to check your answer is by dividing zero point zero one four by zero point two or zero point zero seven and you should get either or now we're going to do factors um we're going to go with number six factors is basically um what which numbers multiply together equals or which numbers goes into the number given and in our case, it's going to be 36. And we already know that all numbers have the factors of 1 and the number itself. So it's going to already have 1 and 36. Now let's just go down from there. Let's do 2. Can 2 go into 36? Yes, it can. Why? Because 2 is, divis is divisible by 2. I'm sorry. 6 is divisible by 2. So we're going to divide. We get 1. 
and I get 8. So it will be 2 and 18. Now let's go on to 3. And 3 will go into 36 because 6 is once again divisible by 3. So our last number is going to have to do, it's going to have to be 2. Because 2 times 3 equals 36. And then we know that 12 times 3 equals 36. Now let's move on to 4. Um, and 4 can go into 36 because remember 4 times 9 gives us 36. Now let's move on to 5. And we know that 5 cannot go into 36 because 5 times any number either gives you the last, the one digit is going to be either a 5 or a 0. And 6 is neither. So 5 does not go in. Now let's try 6. Now we know that 6 goes into 36 because 6 can go into 6, right? And we know that it's 6 times 6 that equals 36. Now let's move on to 7. And um, unfortunately, 7 cannot go into 36 because it's just not a factor. And you could ca you can find that out by doing 7 divided by uh, 36 divided by 7. 7 cannot. Oops, I made a mistake. 7, the closest that 7 can go into 36 is 5 times. And that will give us 35. And that gives us a remainder of 1. So 7 is not a factor of 36. Now let's try 8. Oops. Let's try 8. And the closest that 8 can go into 36 is 4 times. And it gives us 32. And 36 minus 32 gives us a remainder of 4. So 8 cannot go in. And now we get back to number, we get to 9, and we get back over here because 9 times 4 equals 36. And our last hope is going to be 10. So let's try 10. Actually, we don't even have to try it out because 10 times any number gives us an ending of 0. And we know that 36 is not 0, so it does not end with a 0. So these are going to be our factors. And if you want it, like the example, it's going to be in um, numerical order. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Oops, I put a 5 on accident. 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. And if you see closely, it's like in the rainbow method because 1 times 36 equals 36, 2 times 18 equals 36, 3 times 12 equals 36, 3 times, I'm sorry, 4 times 9 equals 36, and 6 times 6 equals 36. So these is going to be our final answer. Now let's move on to rounding. Rounding is very easy. Number 3 gave us 8,978. And we had to round to the thousands, the nearest thousand, thousands. And you have to remember the rules that I gave you before. If it's greater than 5, if it's greater, if it's greater than 5, then you round up. If it's I'm sorry, if it's greater than 5 or equal to 5, you round up. If x is less than 5, then you round down, which is just keep that number the same. This is basically a review from last time, or the last few worksheets. And um, we're gonna, since we need to round to the nearest thousands, we're going to look to the number behind it, which is 9 in the hundreds. And we know that 9 is way greater than 5, so we're going to round up, and we're going to round up by 1. So 8 turns into a 9, and everything else behind it turns to 0. So it's going to round to 9,000. And that's our final answer.
So when you're using for when you're rounding these, just use this um inequality or rule. Use this rule, okay? And that's all I have for you guys today. I, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope this video helped you a bit.